Hey friends and welcome to the wishing clock. Today I have for you a gigantic, like four giant bags full uh, haul. It's about 60 pounds. It ended up being like 59 point something on the scale when I went to measure and check out. Um, we do have some shoes in here, but of course, first I'm going to get through the items that need stain treating or flaws. That way we've got full disclosure that, you know, not everything from the bins is perfect. I'm sure there's flaws on other pieces that I haven't seen yet that I'll need to get under the bright light. But, um, you know, that's kind of the risk with the bins, but the cost makes it worth it. So let's go ahead and jump in. Beep, beep. Uh, so this is Madewell and it is a newer tag, size small, kind of boxy crop, oversized, relaxed fit, knit, all the things. It's all the things. Um, nice cream color. It does have a teeny tiny red spot on it um, that I'm going to attempt to get out. But even if that is still on there, I'd probably get about $15 for this. The next item, amazingly... I found this brand again, and it's going to be Isabelle Durant à Toile, and this is a size 42, which I believe is like a zero or two, so small size, but it's a linen blazer. It does have some yellowing under the armpits from regular wear, but um, looking at comps and stuff for this particular style, that does seem like a common theme. So it's a single button front. I should, even if the stains remain, get you know, at least $30 for this piece. So it's still definitely a great flip. These are Lululemon Aligns. They do have some very heavy pilling and it looks like they were stuck with a white item that kind of got transferred onto the areas where the fabric is a little bit rougher on these. They are a size eight. So if they don't clean up as good as I'm hoping they will, um, I'll probably end up keeping these but their cropped length and cropped is not really my favorite. So we'll see, but I do want to try out the Align fabric. I haven't had a pair for myself yet. Um, so Athleta in a size small. This does have a small yellow spot. I'm pretty confident I can get it out though. Um, this is just a really nice powdery blue purple color. Perfect for spring. Here we have a Kemi and Kin, and this is by Anthropology. It's just got a little bit of yellowing along the edge of the hem, and I'm confident that I can get it out. This is just a really cute, flowy tank with a pleat in the back, and then kind of an abstract art look to it. Next is a Wild Fox hoodie. And it is a full zip. It's got a couple little stains on the front. If they don't come out, I'll probably end up still keeping this for myself just because it is so soft and comfy. And then it does have kind of a retro stripe detail on the back. And then last of the stain pieces, I actually didn't intend to keep this one in my cart because of how heavily stained it is. I really don't think I'm going to be able to get them out, but it's ALC in a size 8, and it's just a nice blouse with a bell and ruffle detail. Um, this brand is kind of all over when it comes to comps, however, you'll always still make a decent return, so if you do find it you know, after you're at your thrift store for up to several dollars or even at the bins, definitely give it a try. So now we're on to our shoes. And the first pair is a pair of All Saints, which makes me thrilled. I haven't found All Saints in a while. And it's one of my favorite brands. It does have leather straps that wrap around the entirety of the booty. And then a nice chunky heel and the suede is in good condition. They're a size 40. I'm going to try them on, but usually I'm a 39. So we'll see. However, a rounded toe sometimes cuts off the amount of space that they give you. But yeah, they're just in great condition. There were like three or four pairs of All Saints in the bins. There was a pair of 39s. However, the 
um, stacked heels were just either annihilated or the suede was, you know, falling out because they were so old. So <laughs> I kept searching through that bin and I'm like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, there's all these great, wonderful shoes, but I just can't take any of them home with me. And then I found that pair and I was like, well, at least there's one that's, you know, there. So those will sell for, you know, around a hundred dollars if I don't end up keeping them. This is Joseph Zabel, and these are a comfort shoe. I only pick up this brand if it's, you know, an excellent or like new condition, and these are definitely in like new condition. Um, they are a size 10. They still have the like Nordstrom rack tag or something right there. So um, these should do pretty well. Should make, you know, at least 25, maybe 20 on a bad day because sometimes Hannah has bad days and just wants to send out a bunch of offers and, you know, make some quick cash. These are also Joseph Seibel, or Seibel, Seibel, however you want to call it. These are a small size. They are a 36, I'm going to say, yes. But they have an adorable cheetah print upper with the little metal O-ring, very retro. Um, so again, these ones will probably sell for 15 or more just because they are a harder sell because of size and the fact that they are a little bit more worn than the other pair. Another amazing boot find. And I don't think anybody knew what these were because they don't have the little logo, but these are, hello. I don't know if you can see it, but they are fry boots and they are in excellent condition so very very happy again this one should sell for at least $75 maybe around 100 they are a size 6 but who cares at this point you know so yeah the shoe bins were awesome and I don't go right when they come out um, just because it stresses me out <laughs> So the fact that these were still in the bins, it's pretty great. These are fry as well. I'm not seeing the size. Nope. Hello. Oh, they look like they might be my size. Mm -hmm. um, these look like they're a size eight and a half. They do have some dirt on the footbed, but, um, Based on the fact that the heel doesn't look that like that, I think I can clean that off or a lot of it off. Um, they're in great condition. So somewhere, but not bad. I don't know what this style is called on these, but they're really cute. So um, yeah, if I don't keep them, I should make, you know, at least 20 bucks on them. Flats definitely don't do as great as boots do in the Fry brand, but that's okay. These I grabbed because the heel had nowhere, the soles have nowhere, they're size eight and a half, they're Sam Edelman, I forgot what the name of these are, the Ariella, they're just a nice white minimal stiletto heel pump, so again, like new condition, very happy to find these. I'll set those down. Again, another life new shoe. This usually doesn't happen to me, so don't think that I have the miracle bins or anything. There's bad days and good days. These are Steve Madden in a size 10. They're the Amiri style. They have a square toe and a block heel. And like no signs of wear. So. Um, I will list these for 40 and I'm expecting to make at least $20 on them um, after fees. Here we have a pair of Apelio in a ladies size 9, so a 40 or a 9. Um, upper has a little bit of wear. They have this awesome kind of cut in detail on the straps. And look at the bottoms though. They're in excellent condition. So these were a throwback. Somebody threw them back. Maybe somebody that was that size and tried them on and just didn't want them. But great find. Oh, okay. 
So if you guys saw the thumbnail and noticed a pair of flats, the dog's jumping on the couch, that's what that noise is. Um, <laughs> they were Tory Burch. However, I don't know where the other one went because it's gone. So hopefully it's in one of these bags. But I don't think it is because I threw all the shoes in the same bag. I'm really hoping somebody didn't grab them out of my cart. I've never had that happen to me, but I can't think of another way that it vanished. So hopefully I find it. They're the Tory Birch, what are they called? The Rivera Flat, I believe, with the medallion on the front. And they're a size something, size eight. So um, yeah. Hopefully it's in there. If not, I'm going to be very sad. I also accidentally kept this without realizing it. Um, they're Burberry. I did not find the other one, which is incredibly disappointing because these are in great condition. Uh, super sad about it. I looked and looked and looked and I kept them, you know, the whole time I was there just in case the other part of it came out in another bin and that just didn't happen. So these were a size 38 as well. So great size. Yeah. So this one, I know I don't have the other half, but I'm hoping we find the other half of the Tory Burch flats in one of these bags. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this bag now. And the first item we're pulling out is a brand that I haven't picked up before. I don't know how quickly it sells. Comps look okay though. It's by Rachel Pally. Um, fabric feels great though. The neckline is interesting. It's got an oversized collar. I couldn't find any holes or anything like that. So we'll see how this does. I'm not going to promise or say any comps. These are a Target collab, so I know they're not going to sell for a lot. However, they're new attack, so I couldn't resist. They're La Ligne for Target. Just going to focus. They're a size 1X. They still have the tags attached. Um, there are a lot of these on the Washmark site. But if I can just quickly flip these, you know, list them for $25.30 and sell them out from under all of the others, then I'd be happy with that. Can't resist new attacks, especially when it's a designer, even if it's a collab for Target at the bins. So these are Ivy Park shorts, and they're in kind of a like tan nude color. And then they have this interesting stretchy shiny band. I don't remember what size they are. Oh, they're a size medium, and they do have pockets. So just a really basic running short. They aren't lined. They don't have a liner. I don't know how much I'll get for those. If you find Ivy Park and it also says Adidas, that's going to be a higher comp brand than just Ivy Park. Ivy Park is Beyonce's athletic wear brand. Um, so you can often find items that she has advertised or worn on Instagram or, you know, just on Google itself. This is Eileen Fisher in a size small. This is a nice mid-tone green sweater. I don't remember what the fabric content is on this. So it's 100% merino wool. I did not find any holes. Fingers crossed it stays that way. Then we have another Madewell piece. It's a size extra small and it's just this very thick chunky knit ribbed cardigan with pockets and kind of a mauve pink. Then guess what? We also have another super chunky knit Madewell cardigan. This one isn't a size medium though. It does have some pilling, but I'm confident I can get it out. It's a waffle knit style. It's got a collar. And I'm assuming this is one of their like boyfriend fit types, but it's very, very cute. Duster length and it does have pockets as well. I don't know what the fabric makeup is on this one. So 60% merino wool and 40% nylon. So good fabric makeup. Should do really well. I'd be shocked if this doesn't sell for over $30. Just because it seems like one of those items that's more substantial by then. 
Another brand, I'm sure you've heard me talking about it on this channel, is going to be Universal Standard in a size small. Um, Universal Standard, the sizing varies, so a size small is going to be closer to, what, like a 12 or 14, I believe. So maybe even a 16. It does have these nice slits up the side, but it does have enough fabric that they do stay closed, so it's not going to you know, make you feel like you're wearing a crop top from the side view. Um, that should get me between 25 and 30 at least. This is my first time finding this brand. And this top is beautiful. I was shocked to find it. This is by Ferenza Schuler, And it is in a size, where's the size? Size four, it's 100% silk, perfect for the spring and summer season that's coming up. Just gorgeous. I really want to keep this, but of course it's not my size, but it's definitely a style that's right up my alley. Um, comps look to be for $30 and up, depending on condition. So we'll see how it does. I have no idea how quickly that brand sells. It'll be an experiment. This is Wolfred in a size medium, and I believe I actually have this cardigan sitting in a size extra small in my closet, so I can just add to the multiple listings, so long as this one doesn't have any flaws that the other doesn't have. This one has little stud details at the seam lines, which is very cute, and they're all over, so they've got them on the, whoop, where'd it go, the pocket detail as well. And it is a cocoon style, so it kind of wraps in a circular formation. So many good things, guys. So many good things. This is another Target collab, and I picked it up because the style is just so cute, plus it's a size 12. So Kate Young for Target. Look at this amazing, vampy, lacy, satin skirt dress. And it's in navy blue and black, and I really like that color combination. I know for some people it's a complete faux pas, but navy blue and black look amazing together in my eyes. Um, I don't know how all this will do. I'm not familiar with Kate Young or her for Target line, but I just had to pick it up. There's no flaws. Very happy. This, I believe, is, yep, Wilfred Free size small and this is a midi dress i think huh, almost maxi um stretchy purple long sleeve v-neck i don't remember the fabric content let's check that are you gonna tell me the tag is kind of coming curled there we go Okay, so it's just rayon, polyester, and spandex. That's all right. Wilfred Free is an Aritzia brand. Um, if you're not familiar with the Aritzia brands, I definitely check out their website just because they do have great comps. A lot of their items, not all, um, you know, are sought after pieces. This is also a new one for me. Um, I believe it's a Nordstrom brand. It's just court and row. However, I saw that it was a size 1X and it has these awesome like neon pink details on both the sides of the sweater and on the collar. And I believe it's a good fabric content as well. Yeah, so 50% Kyla, just showing that, brain glitch. So 50% cotton, 45% nylon, and then 5% wool. So not the best, but you know, it's got something. I can say wool blend on the information and, you know, not be lying. This is an Anthropology brand, and this is my first time finding this particular brand. It is cooperative in a size 8. I think this is perfect for the upcoming season. It's either linen or a linen blend. Just a nice cheetah print with yellow over a cream background. So cute. Kind of gives me a little bit of a pinup vibe too. So I'll definitely add that um, keyword in the listing 
We'll see how it does. I don't know the comps for that specific brand. Here we have a Freya bra, and I picked it up because it's a very unique size. It's a size 32 double F, which where were you during my first pregnancy? Because I could have needed that. <laughs> um, yeah, great condition. Doesn't look like it's been worn. Uh, Freya bras are a more expensive style, so we'll see how it does. This is a brand that does sit for a while. However, it does have a following. It's Nick and Zoe. This is a size 10 and it's a either 100% linen or a linen blend skirt with these raw hem seam details, very lagging look. Oh, does it have spots on the back? No, that's just a fuzz. Phew. Let's see if I can find the fabric tag. So it is 53% linen and the rest rayon. So yeah, very nice, lightweight, again, perfect for the season. And it's a neutral color and neutrals are so in right now. This is an amazing find. I don't know why it was still sitting in there. It's Wolfred in a size medium and it's one of their cocoon coats. Ah, it is missing a button. Where'd it go? I think on the bottom, the bottom button is missing. No? One, two, three. I could be wrong. But anyways, this was in a bin. This coat retails for over $300 and still sells for over a hundred on the site. It does have some yellowing on the tag and there is right here, there's like a little moth bite, but it didn't get through the actual fabric. It just looks kind of worn. So I will, you know, put that in the listing, but I'm going to list this for $100 and just see how it does. Very excited. This is a great find. I think it's a wool something. Let's see. A oh, wool and cashmere. There's the little detail. Definitely check comps on Wilfred brand coats like this. This is an Athleta top that wraps around the lower back to make like a bow. So very, you know, like ballet or dance type of style. Athleta size small, just purple pullover with the tie on the lower back. This is another first time find and it's just a tank top, but that's okay. House of Harlow and what was that size? I just looked at it and totally didn't like connect. Size small. It does have one little spot right here. And I believe that's just from a purse strap rubbing or something that's got a little bit of pilling. So I'll clean that up. Um, I don't think comps are going to be crazy on this because I do know some pieces are now sold at TG Maxx, but I was just happy to find a new brand to try. This is Daniel Rain in a size large. This is a stitch fix brand and it's just a bread and butter brand that I do like picking up. It usually sells in under 60 days for me. I don't know what the fabric makeup it is. So it's just 100% viscose. It's very stretchy and soft. Another first time brand find for me, and that is going to be the brand, hello, Outer Known. Um, this is a button down with the hang loose hands on it. I could not find this exact shirt. It's a size extra large, which is a great size, 93% organic cotton and 7% hemp. So just a very natural brand, more sustainable than most. This is Saturday Sunday, which is an anthropology brand and it's in a size medium. I haven't seen a tag like this. I don't know if it's new or old, but kinda don't care. And it's 100% cotton and it's just very retro. It reminds me of the very vibrant couches that were in for a time back when I was a child. And even some like more mod style couches that, you know, people used or had that were, you know, trendy. 
This is Madewell in a size medium, 100% cotton pant, and it's just kind of a gauzy fabric, black basic, wide leg with pockets. Um, they do have a slight bit of pilling between the legs, but I'll just, you know, defuzz it and sell it. So we're only halfway through and it's been 25 minutes. This is a very long haul. Hopefully you guys are still here. <laughs> uh, next bag, we're going to go ahead and jump in to, let's just do this one. But I do want to show you these real quick because I think they're really cute. This is Sweaty Betty, size extra large. And these are some high-waisted green shorts. And I wish they were size large so that they fit me, but they're a little too loose. So cute. Okay. Now we are back to Miles by Madewell. And this is one of those confetti knits where it's got that um, random little bits of speckling, which is very much in right now. This is cropped. It's in mock neck. I didn't really look at the, so it's fall 2019, so not that new. Um, and just a polyester cotton blend. However, I do think that I'll get, you know, at least $15 for this. Again, I spent only $1.16 for all of this. And from just one pair of shoes, I should make that back. Or even that coat, depending on if I find any other flaws on that Wilfred coat. So this is Lucky Brand, size extra large. It is a button front, off the shoulder, star embroidered, ah, top. And I couldn't find any flaws on it at the bins. And then it has these gorgeous like tulip sleeves. I don't know if I'm doing it justice, but they're like a tulip sleeve. They open up on the sides, very cute. I think this is gonna sell really quickly. So long as I don't find any marks on it because it's white and you never know. This I picked up because of the size and the color. It's Lulu's in a size extra large. Very cute. Kind of cottagecore, peasant, dress in a mini length. I will be shocked if I still have this by the end of summer because I think the style is on point as well. I found my favorite, one of my favorite Lululemon prints again. These are a size eight, which is a size smaller than what I am. And I'm kind of sad. I don't know if I'm gonna just price them up a little bit and, you know, keep them in my closet a little bit longer so that I can maybe eventually fit into them. I don't know, I want them though. Very cute, shocked to find them. Those were in an old bin as well as this jacket which is marine layer in a size extra large. It's fully lined with this soft gray jersey material. And then it's just navy blue on the outside. I don't know what comps are for this specific jacket. It is pretty basic, but we'll see. Um, marine layer is a popular brand though, so somebody's gonna come across and want it. This is Torrid and it's in a size two. I don't pick up a lot of Torrid pieces. However, I couldn't resist this super fun, almost pop art type of embroidery with the lightning and the stars. Um, just a nice chunky ribbed knit sweater. So we'll give this a good delint and list it and see how it does. Sorry, I kind of like shook the camera with that one. Here we have Theory in a size 32. Older Theory pants, but I'll still pick them up at the bins, even sometimes at the thrift store, depending on price and fabric makeup. They do sit for a while, but they usually always sell for at least $20. Whew, this is Billabong. Billa, Billabong. Billabong in a size medium. These are a hippie pant, kind of a palazzo style with a fun blue and cream colorway. Uh, good bread and butter brand. I really like Billabong. It has these style numbers in the tag, so it's very easy to find stock photos. And it's sold at Buckle, so people do know it. Uh, Garnet Hill, size two. These are a lid in short, high-waisted, and a little bit of a longer inseam, so almost a Bermuda type of fit. Let's see. Oh, the here. There it is, yeah, 100% linen. So, these should do well and sell fairly quickly. 
here we have a new without tags crazy fun athleta find in a size medium it's a sweater dress with a fleece lined hood and the material kind of has a sheen to it gives it some movement super cute I don't know what the comps are for this, but I'm assuming that I'd sell this for at least $40. It just seems like one of those nicer pieces. Here we have Pink Clover by Stitch Fix, new with tags. Just a nice bread and butter find. I don't know how Pink Clover does. It's not a brand that I typically pick up for Stitch Fix. It's a size small. However, the knit is super soft. Um, and it's new with tags. I can't resist it, guys. Can't. Yeah, fabric's nothing special. It does have the style name in it, or a number in it, so that I can look up the style name, as most Stitch Fix items do, which makes it easy to list, so that equals hard to resist. Here we have Neiman Marcus Rag & Bone, size small. This is a unisex cardigan with a button-down front, kind of a varsity style. Um... And I should get, you know, at least $30 for it. Super excited to find this collab. I do love a good unisex piece. If you're still here, we are on to our last bag. These are Bailey 44 striped pants in a size small. I got them because one, cuffed is in, and two, straight leg is in. So I haven't really sold much Bailey 44. But because of the condition and the cuffing, I just thought I'd give them a try. Here we have another anthropology brand that's new to me. It's Vanite Vol, size large. It does have something kind of grody right underneath the tag, but that should just wipe right off. Um, sometimes the bins just leave little presents on things. This is, I don't know what the fabric makeup is. I didn't check that. Just polyester, but the print is really pretty. So yeah, we'll see how this does. I don't know how this brand goes. Anthropology just has so many, it's hard to keep track. Here we have Free People in a size medium. Just a fun, distressed cable knit front top. I said it was a size medium, didn't I? Hopefully. Here we have Ugg. And I don't find Ugg clothing usually. This is a size extra small. Very cute leopard print. Fuzzy and soft. Didn't find any flaws, but, you know, we'll check it out under the camera light when I'm listing it and make sure. This is Everlane in a size small. The fabric content is 60% recycled cashmere and 40% wool. Yay for recycled materials. Very cute, basic, black, um, you know, business casual, minimalist, all that kind of fun stuff. Here we have another Nick and Zoe piece. This is a size extra large, and I picked it up because look at this fun print. I think this will do well. So yeah, um, what's that? Beachy grandma or resort grandma or whatever tag that's in right now? That will get tagged for this. I just think it's cute and fun. And the color is really pretty. Plus it's a great size. Here we have Athleta in a size large. This is an older tag. However, I do think that this style is great. So had to pick it up. This is Pure Jill in a size 2X. And I picked it up because the Heather ombre knit is beautiful it's a great size somebody needs this in this their closet shouldn't have to go to a landfill the fabric content is just cotton and viscose so nothing special but yeah i just couldn't leave this behind here we have another j jill piece this is the pima perfect line striped has buttons on the front Size large. I don't know if I said that. It's a larger size, which is good when it comes to Jujil. Um, It's the right season that we're coming up for it, so I figured I'd pick it up and give it a shot in my closet. This is a Free People Beach piece. 
Um, if you're a reseller, I'm sure you've come across one of these before in either blue or gray. This is the oversized funnel neck pullover with the contrasting fabric at the hem. Uh, this is a one body and a one body means that it fits size extra small, small. And then if it says two body, that means it fits medium or large, just so you know. This is moth in a size medium. Very cute. Ruffles, we're missing a sleeve. Um, oversized deep v-neck. Again, another nice kind of artsy, business casual, a little bit of boho, all the fun descriptor words that should help it find somebody that wants it. Here we have BKE, and these are the Aiden bootleg in a size 26, short. BKE does very well. This is a bit of a smaller size. They may sit for longer, but they should sell for around $30. So good brand to pick up. These are a size 32 Citizens of Humanity. I told you guys I would slow down on picking this brand up, um, but it was the bins, guys, and it's a size 32. Ava straight leg pant. They are not a high rise. They might sit for a little bit longer. <sighs> Naughty Hannah, but I couldn't, I couldn't help it guys. So yeah, uh, that is all for this ginormous haul. Usually my hauls are only like 30 to 40 pounds. So this was kind of insanity. Um, if you stuck around for this whole video, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Definitely hit that subscribe button. I'll be here for you next week with a thread up unboxing, probably at the end of next week. So I will see you then. Oh, oh, oh.